So hi Jaydens, I'm back with another video and as you read by the title, I'm going to be sharing you guys my extensive maintenance routine. This maintenance routine allows you to be so low maintenance on a day to day basis and I love it. So you know your girl had to put you on. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amina. I give you face fits and flair, honey. Okay, if you're interested in beauty, fashion or lifestyle content, this is the channel to be. Your girl is slowly getting back into the groove of things. You guys know I love your good maintenance day so I'm going to be sharing everywhere and everyone I go to. So enough of me talking, let's just get right into it. Let's head to Queen so I can get one of my favorite beauty procedures done and that is microbladed brows no these aren't my real brows y'all know your girl is a microbladed babe and I love it actually I think I'm a microbladed and micro shaded babe um it's combination but I'll get into that a little later on so let's head to Queens y'all I'm currently on my way to my brow appointment and it's so much traffic it says I'm gonna get there at 331 my appointment is at 330 331 like it's so much traffic and I'm just like what the heck is going on sometimes I wish I could go back in time and ask to like lift this eyebrow up because this side of my face is pretty droopy like I understand no face has perfect symmetry you know but this side of my face is just droopy because I used to lay on this side of my face before I started sleeping on my back I used to lay on this side of my face a lot so this side is just overall droopy so I want this side of my face to be lifted I was that considering Botox at one point I was like oh my god like I saw it on TikTok and I was like this makes so much sense like if I inject I guess Botox towards the like the tail end I believe um it'll relax that muscle that brings my eyes down and it'll give a more lifted appearance it's not physically lifting my eyebrow it just aids in giving that lifted look so I was actually like thinking about it but then I'm like this is how it all starts yes I'd be going in for this one procedure I'd be going in for this one you know minuscule injection right and then boom I'm thinking, oh yeah, some filler will look good here, some filler will look good there. And there's nothing wrong with it, like, I, I don't have a problem with it. But I'm just like, nah, that's how it starts, you know? But like I was saying, I do want to lift this eyebrow up. But I don't think she could tattoo the tail of the eyebrow a bit higher because it's already a tail there. Um, and my eyebrows have not faded. Like, I got my eyebrows done two years ago, and they have not faded. I'm off the highway, which is good. That's where all the traffic was at. But I'm going to try to save some memory and some battery, and I'll talk to you guys once once we get to the Brow Brat Studios. We made it to Brow Brat Studios. As soon as I got in, her sister numbed me up and I had to sit with that numbing cream on for like 10 minutes. And then after Ariana, AKA Brow Brat, got started with my brows, she started shaping them. This is how my brows look like freshly shaped. After cleaning my brows, she went ahead and mapped them out and then she started the whole micro shading process. You guys, the first pass always hurts. I always cry, but it's honestly so worth it. After every pass, she'd put some type of pigment on top and I have to sit there for like five minutes and she go back in and do another pass and yeah so my brows are done and nothing pisses me off bad than when my bank decides to actually do their job and like report fraudulent activity right that just happened and whenever that happens I'm like no 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 I got money in this account like I literally would show it to you I'm like yeah it was fraud like they sent me the text it was fraud cause what it pissed it. like it's so embarrassing especially when she ran the card it said nope sorry decline I said what decline now nah, I got the money in here I got, <laughs> I got the money in here so but it went through because I had to approve it but y'all that pisses me off bad um but my brows are done I get my eyebrows done by Adriana aka brow brow I can't do no ointment I have to keep my eyebrows dry no exercising no tanning waxing threading I was so by day five I could like you know put makeup around the area but day one and three eyebrows are gonna look dark day four to seven the eyebrows are gonna be itchy I can't scratch them day seven to ten my scalp should be gone and then week three to four my eyebrows will be their true color they look so good I just know these are gonna last like a really long time because we did like four passes four passes so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So these are my brows, I believe almost two or three months healed. I know some of you may be like, well, you have makeup on right now. We can't really see the results. You guys, I don't put makeup on my brows. I literally carved them out and that is it. So these are my healed brows and I just love them. The healing process really isn't that bad. You cannot get your brows wet for like a week. I think that's probably the most difficult thing about this healing process. But I found this little contraption on Amazon. I never bought it because by the time I found out about it, my healing process was already done. But basically, it's like an eyebrow shield you put it on your face it can still wet your face because I'm somebody who washes their face in the shower I cannot wash my face in a sink because I hate water dripping all over me I don't like water on a sink water going down my arms 
none of it. So I had to wash my face in the shower. So that was a hard week. Not being able to wash my face in the shower, but your girl did it. I had to wash my face in the sink. It wasn't too, too bad. I think that's probably the hardest thing about the healing process. You don't really see the final results until two or three weeks after you get the procedure done. So I feel like by the end of week two, I was really good or the peeling had finished. And honestly, I didn't peel that bad this round. The first time I got my brows microbladed, I peeled like crazy. Like it was very itchy. This go around, it really wasn't that bad. And it was pretty easy. If I'm gonna be real, like I said earlier, I did not need to get my brows redone or touched up. They looked so good, you guys. Even the brow tech said so. I wanted it because the hairline strokes kind of got a bit blurred because it's been like two years. And I just wanted them to be a bit more defined. So that's why I went ahead and booked a touch up. Honestly, it was not bad at all. You guys saw how my brows look before I got them touched up. And this is probably the most expensive beauty service that I get, but I don't get it so frequently. Literally, it's been two years since I last got it done. And I know some people who've had their brows microbladed for over five years who have not gotten a touch up. So I definitely do think this is worth the investment. And I'm going to be transparent about the pricing so when i first got my brows done two years ago i believe i paid 850 850 dollars to get them done the first time then six weeks after getting my brows done the first time i went in for a touch-up um i didn't need a touch-up but i think that's like the process you have to go in for. you don't have to but she recommends going in for a touch-up six weeks after the initial procedure so i paid 150 for that touch-up so that's what a thousand on my brows but I honestly feel like it was so worth it because when I tell you I did not have to worry about my brows and back then I used to get lash extensions so straight off the wake up I looked good I was good to go for the day you feel me she doesn't have a specific price for two year touch-ups I think the latest that she goes to was like seven to twelve months so this touch-up was 550 in total I spent a little over 1500 on my brows now that is a lot of money I'm not even gonna sit here and act like it's not it is a lot of money one I'm paying for good work I'm paying for convenience I'm paying for longevity and it was worth it to me you know what I mean like, I'm a strong believer in investing in yourself and this is something that I did to invest in myself. I'll probably insert some footage of my brows before but I really had no brows y'all. I mean I had some brow hairs but like no shape. It didn't matter who I went to to get my brows threaded, tinted, waxed, the shape just was not it for me so I went ahead and got my semi-permanent brows and I feel like they're faking to be permanent no shape because I know people who've had microbladed brows for years like years so I feel like it's gonna last a pretty long time and I might not need another touch up for like three, five years, if that's the case. So that's the tea about the brows. After getting my brows done, my real favorite, favorite procedure to get done is my laser hair removal. Oh my God, you guys know I swear about laser hair removal. I know I love me some Lisa. I be going to Yonkers every, I don't know how many months at this point, eight months. I've been getting laser hair removal done for three years now. I started in December of 2020. It's January of 2024. And I just love it. I love my results. I swear by it. Never been sponsored. I've never had a free laser session. Nothing. I literally put you guys onto Lisa because I just love Lisa. I, I, I can't recommend anybody else. I went and got my laser hair removal done and it's been like three months at this point. I've been holding on to this footage for that long. Yes. And when I went to go get my touch up done, I think I didn't go for seven months prior to that. So right now where I'm at my laser hair removal journey is I go when I need to. I do not have an appointment book with my laser tech. I go and I'm like, okay, I need a touch up. Let me go. I don't grow any hair. <laughs> I grow peach fuzz and I love it. Laser has been the best investment. And first of all, it's not for me personally. I feel like it's such an amazing price point. I pay $50 per section. So my arms are $50 and Brazilian is $50. So I pay $100 every five to six months. Right now it's probably like every year for no hair. Like, come on, come on. I'm really putting you guys on the game. I love Lisa. So enough of me talking. Let's have to Yonkers, get these hair follicles zapped away. And yeah. So before my laser appointment, I do have to shave and I want to show you guys how my underarms look like. As you guys can see, it's barely any hair there. The hair that you see is like peach fuzz and it's very fine and light and the laser can't catch it. I use a regular men's razor and I actually shave with Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. I really use this for everything and it's actually hilarious. But I feel like I always get a proper clean shave using these two items so if it ain't broke don't fix it this is how much i was able to shave off and this is how my underarms look like right before my appointment so let's head to lisa now, right now i'm headed to my laser appointment you guys know i've been doing laser now for almost three years and my results literally speak for themselves i love laser so much and i'm honestly just at the coming when i need to phase i literally didn't have no appointment because i didn't know what was the next time i was going to need my laser done i think the last time i got it done was in april I think I got my laser done last in April. Today is November. So it's been like six months, if I'm not mistaken, or even more than six months. I love laser and it's a big part of my maintenance routine. I get my laser done today. I'm gonna be good until, honestly, I don't know when. I could probably be good until probably, let's say, 
June, probably even later, July maybe. Probably even July, August. It depends where you get it, the less hair you grow. Like, I don't grow hair. The hair that I'm growing now is literally peach fuzz. The hair that I'm growing right now are so thin, so light. The laser can't even catch it. But the results with my other arms are the exact same with hunger. okay? So, yeah, definitely love me some laser. I can't do waxes. Waxes hurt, like, heck. Um, waxes, actually, yeah, no. I'm actually traumatized from getting waxes, so. Yeah, we're already in Yonkers. Enough of me talking. I'll talk to you guys once I'm on Lisa's bed. So this is Lisa's laser studio, and this is the machine that she uses. So it's time for me to get undressed and get on that bed, okay? We're on the bed, you guys. So Lisa, I have a question. Sure. Is it true that depending on a laser, depends on how effective it is for your skin type and skin complexion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the YAG is for um, dark skin. Okay. Alexandra is for Caucasian skin. So th this is the YAG? Yes. We're using absolutely. the YAG laser? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we're using the YAG laser. You ready? Yeah. When do you think I should see you next? Um, when you see it start coming back. We're well, back in the car. That laser appointment was actually, I think, my easiest appointments that I've had to date. It's this one spot that she usually does that be like, oh my God. Today that spot wasn't that All right, bad. Laser is done. It's time for us to get our hands and feet in check. Manny and Petty time, babes, okay? I don't care what season it is, the feet and nails gotta be done. I'm not even gonna hold you. Younger me would be so proud because I was somebody that was like, listen, it's the winter time, no one has seen my feet. Girl, wrong. I no longer think like that because I'm such a social butterfly now. I get invited to a lot of events and I don't wanna have to limit myself to a closed toe shoe because my feet not done. I mean, I can go and get it done, but let's say I don't have the time to get it done. Now I have to limit myself to a closed toe shoe. Also, I just love taking care of my feet and my hands. I just love, you know, a nice, soft, supple foot. So I actually do a lot of like feet treatments. So I do a lot of feet masks in between pedicures, but the feet and nails gotta be done. No shade, okay? And I'm someone that's still low maintenance when it comes to that. I don't get my feet or nails done every two weeks. Absolutely not. That's just insane. I probably get my nails and feet done every four to six weeks. They're gonna be like, girl, all that is grown now. I'm someone who's a neutral babe. Do you guys see my nails? Look at my nails. They're this natural pinkish nude acrylic color for a reason because once they grow out, you cannot peep nothing. You gotta be up close and personal to the people that they've grown out and same for my feet. I am a French babe because I love that natural base because once it grows out, you can't peep nothing. You get what I'm saying? You really just can't peep nothing. And my toenails definitely do grow a lot slower than my nails. So I'm good for four to six weeks and I do treatments in between. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to go get a luxurious pedicure and then we're gonna head to the Bronx to go lay down some acrylics okay yes I'm gonna cook babe so hey guys it is a nail day your girl is currently on her way to Brooklyn I'm going to the LAC lab I love the LAC lab when I got my nails done back in September by them for fashion week I was like yeah I'm going to definitely have to come back because when I tell you to say the least the experience was just amazing I've never received the pedicure so relaxing so soothing like the one that I got back in September prior to me visiting the LAC lab I didn't necessarily dream read the fact of me getting my nails and feet done but it was more so like a chore for me because I would have to sit there and basically monitor the people doing my nails because I'm very particular about how are my nails to be especially if I decide to get French that day oh yeah the smile lines have to be on point but at the lap lap I didn't have to even do that like she already knew what was up you get what I'm saying try to preserve some batteries so I will talk to you guys once we get to the lap lap Popping in again, I made it to the LAC lab and I just love the aesthetics of this salon. My nail tech for the day was Soleil, loved her vibe and she got me together, okay? So she removed my previous gel set, gave me a good cleaning and I love the LAC lab's coffee scrub. My feet feel so smooth and soft after, love, love, love it. Do you guys see how good my natural nails look? 
yeah so they got me together okay and today i decided to do my classic french i cannot remember my base color that sole used on me but i actually really like it when i go back i'll ask them but i love me a nice thin smile lined french and this is exactly what i wanted i'm so happy and now it's time for me to get my nails done i know a lot of people hate acrylics but acrylics actually help my nails grow this is how my natural nails look like now i go to jules nails in the bronx um i've been going to her for years now and she just understands me i guess but honestly my nail set is always very very simple everyone always asks me what's my acrylic base color and this is the acrylic base color that jalissa uses on me it's by the brand valentina or valentino if i'm not mistaken and it's in the shade glamorous nude honestly i might buy this for myself because it's just the perfect nude for me and i don't get any designs because i just like to keep things simple and you guys know i keep my nails on for a long time and if i do get french or anything like that it will wear off so this is how my nails look like after literally my go-to I love these so much this is the perfect length for me and I like to let them grow out for like three infills and then I get a whole new set but literally love them so now that my hands and feet are done we gotta get the body in check I do go to the gym I just don't record my workouts and also please go ahead and make your yearly checkup appointments with your doctors and when was the last time you got your checkup done when was the last time you went to go see a dentist girl go and make those appointments it don't matter how cute you look on the outside if your insides is messed up girl you messed up okay go and make those appointments i recently had my yearly checkup done got some blood work you guys i found out that i'm vitamin d deficient and apparently it's normal within the african-american community because with our beautiful melanin it's really hard for the sun to penetrate us for us to get the proper nutrients that we need so now i do have to take vitamins for vitamin d me personally i feel like that was the more sensible route but me personally i would have loved to book a trip and just lay it out that's just me personally but go and get your yearly checkups done go get your lab work done the things that i do to maintain my health i take a woman's probiotic woman's multivitamin vitamin d now go to the doctors go to the dentist i work out just don't vlog it for you guys and your girl also invests in massages i can't be 23 24 and i'm having lower back pain what's the issue with that why does bending certain ways hurt me nah we gotta get that in check so i stretch a lot and i get massages okay i love me a good massage i try out so many different spas in new york city i don't necessarily have a favorite masseuse that i go to i do have one that i frequent but i wouldn't say that's my favorite so yeah but today we're gonna try a new spa um we're gonna head to manhattan to go have a spa day your girl loves her spa day i just love me a nice relaxing self-care day so let's head to manhattan let's get our self-care on okay girl it's about a few days later you guys my eyebrows are healing pretty pretty good nails are still intact as you guys can see they are growing out a bit but you can't even peep that because i love getting a natural colored set that's similar to my nail color because when it does grow out you don't clock that but today we're gonna go and give our body some tlc i was invited by the spa club in new york city to go and visit the spa and you know what's crazy i already go to the spa once a month it's literally already in my maintenance routine but i love a good spa day a good massage it literally just resets my whole body for the whole month and i'd be good okay like i don't have no tension my back isn't hurting nothing i'm too young for my back to be hurting too so i love a good spa day i love a good sauna i love all of that i'm really excited to be bringing you guys along with me whenever i go to the spa i like to wear something very very cozy and casual right now i have on like a black one piece from naked wardrobe typically i wear like sweatpants and stuff like that this is the jumpsuit let's go back into montage mode i just want to hop in real quick so you guys just don't be hearing my beautiful voice not seeing my face you know so yeah it's me again and we're at the spa club honestly this spa was actually very big for it to be in the middle of manhattan like it's like on 23rd street they have a cafeteria area and everything this is me waiting to get my massage i got a deep tissue massage this day and he put in work my body was loose okay my body felt good up <laughs> okay so now that we have the body in check it's not tight stiff up nothing let's go and get our hair done i'm someone who loves a low maintenance hairstyle and boho knotless is probably like my favorite go to low maintenance hairstyle literally my hair is like three weeks old and it still looks good and i get to be very versatile on how i style my hair let's up to harlem my home to get our hair done okay follow me on my other platforms you already know i go to diva hair salon to get my knotless braids they went viral and everything but i'm getting some boho knotless braids if you remember i shaved my head completely bald like two years ago and this is the growth now this day mimi did my hair but everyone in the salon is really really good i was just showing them exactly how i went in my hair 
and you guys please screenshot this this is the best bokeh to use if you're trying to do boho knotless braids i highly recommend i've tried multiple brands and they've just tangled up on me and i hated them my hair was done in like four hours you guys it was pretty pretty fast and this was the final result i love 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 my hair and so many of you guys love my hair as well these braids are my go-to okay like they eat and they just make me look so pretty <laughs> This is probably my best experience with boho knotless braids because my previous experiences were terrible and it was because of the hair that I used. I used, I think, Milk and Wavy. The bulk hair, I hate it. I do not recommend. Do not get that bulk hair. If you're gonna get hair from the beauty supply store, bulk hair from the beauty supply store, I recommend the Janet Collection. This is not sponsored, nothing. I also added human hair at the end. When I tell you this hair does not tangle, it literally does not tangle at night. All I do is just put it in some braids because I want the wave pattern to still be intact. Put in some braids and that's all that I do. I don't even put product in it, y'all. I highly recommend the Jenna Collection bulk hair. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it. But yeah, that's the hair that you need if you're trying to do some boho knotless. Like I have not had a better experience with boho knotless than the ones that I have in right now. Like I just love them so much. We did a lot of our maintenance so far, y'all. The last one that I feel like is a priority for me is definitely my skin. Skincare, the skin has to give. Your skin needs the same amount of TLC as the rest of your body does, okay? And I am in my skincare bag this season because we're gonna get this skin and check. You get what I'm saying? Previously, I used to deal with a lot of hormonal acne. Now I have a lot of hyperpigmentation that I'm trying to correct. And it's been a journey. It's not easy because I'm very prone to getting hyperpigmentation. So yeah, one little pick at something, guess what? It's definitely gonna leave something behind. So that's where I'm at right now in my skincare journey. And since I'm really trying to be consistent and serious about my skincare, your girl has to go get some facials. I have to go see professional and esthetician. And we're gonna head to Brooklyn again to get a facial. So what's up you guys? It is facial day. We are currently in Brooklyn. We're headed to Classic Beauty Studio to get this skin in check. You guys, I did so good. You guys know I have no discipline when it comes to popping my pimples. Do y'all see that? That's ready to pop. And I think it's another one either right here or like on this side as well that I did not pop. I didn't pop it at all because I'm like, yo, we're about to get a facial. We're going to get the skin check in 2024. So book your facials, okay? Um, but yeah, this is my skin before. Let me show it to you. Oh, I can't wait for her to extract that. But yeah, you guys, let's head in. And the rest of this might be in montage mode. So yeah. Um, I do rinse and I use clinomycin and I'm currently on tretinoin. So I guess that's what I do. But yeah, no, I'm not consistent with my skincare, but I've been becoming more consistent, I should say. Okay, so what's your goal? What is it that you want from your skin to look or feel like? For me, I think I just wanna minimize the appearance of my hyperpigmentation i feel like with the um treatments that my dermatologist prescribed to me they've been you know getting my acne under control like i don't have that many breakouts um i typically only get them when i'm you know off my cycle or during my cycle so i think right now it's really just getting the hyperpigmentation under control okay yeah okay. so the traditional is the only um active ingredient you're using right now correct as well as the clonomycin, um, well, also sometimes I alternate between um, cleansing with benzoyl peroxide by Panoxyl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use that cleanse. I don't know if that's an active as well. Yeah, it's not that. Well, it can be a little bit drying. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's why I, like, I have to moisturize heavily mm -hmm. when I do use that. So Because it dries you out. That little sponge, and then I have... Um, this is rough. Yeah, because my cleanser, I use the Urban Skin RX cleanser, and mm -hmm. that's what I wash my um, mm -hmm. my face with, like the sponge, mm -hmm. every day when I went to the shower. I mean, like when I wash my face. I used to do that way back. Oh my God, that dried my skin out so bad. Yeah, my skin is dry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's not great for this weather right now. Yeah, okay, so I should slow down on that? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to use the resurfacing cleanser. This has a little bit of active ingredients. Just gonna help um, support getting rid of that first layer of skin. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. See, I I can't do like liquid lotions, but I love being moisturized, and I layer. The, like I feel like the Palmer's cocoa butter moisturizes me so well. As soon as I put it on, like any dryness that I have is gone, and then I do layer with like a body oil sometimes, depending. But mm -hmm. it's not even necessarily. It's like I don't need to. No, with Palmer's. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you know I can't use like 
lotions, liquid lotions at all. <laughs> no? I don't. Like, I, if I'm going to use it, I have to mix it with my Palmer's. Like, my... You like thick consistency. I like thick. It has to be yeah. very thick. Yeah, for okay. sure. You're definitely a Vaseline girl then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, you know what's crazy? I don't I don't use it on my face anymore. No. But I used to, um, like, I even have a Vaseline right now. Like, I've been mm -hmm. using, I used Vaseline today. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Done. I love it. I feel like it's the one. It's the only like those are the only two products that really keep my skin moisturized. Well, that's good for occlusion. Mm -hmm. Do you like have eczema? Like yeah, I have eczema. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, my, yes. I have eczema in my arms and everything. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense because that's the only way to keep like your hydration. Yeah. So, what would you recommend for my skin type? Well, I don't know if you know my skin type from just like looking at it. Like, what would you recommend for my goals? When it comes to skincare, is there an oily combination? But right now you're going through like dry skin because of the weather. Mm -hmm. Um, for you, I would recommend um, a salicylic toner. Okay. A daily gentle cleanser, a salicylic toner. I like face realities. Mm -hmm. Um, products for that. That's great for acne. Um, you need a good vitamin C since you want to focus on. Um, hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. they'll help brighten up your skin so well so we're gonna steam let's do it for two minutes I'm proud of myself because typically I literally pop my pimples any single like any pop time I see a pimple I pop it. I literally say this. Love that. I was like, yo, this Thank is gonna you. be a good one. I think Thank I have another you. one on this side over here too, but yeah. I'm gonna start off with your nose. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Okay, no worries. Just gonna take off all that excess. Do you wear makeup? Yes, I do. Often. Is it pretty often. It's not does it show? I just ask because you know that can also affect the texture of your skin. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you wash it off with? So I double cleanse. I use the elements um cleansing balm okay. and then I go in with the my cleanser. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, at least you got that down back. So this is going to help like with healing your skin and killing acne causing bacteria as mm. well. I'm going to drop this a little bit. I'm probably going to double mask you. Okay. I'm going to do the sulfur mask just to pull everything out that we weren't able to get out. Mm -hmm. And then the green mask is going to just calm the skin. Okay. So you just need to work on rehydration, and that's gonna help with the hyperpigmentation as well. Period. Okay, I got you. So we opt for the pumpkin mask instead, because I see her skin reacted pretty well to the sulfur mask. So it's just gonna help with brightness and hydration and wet skin elasticity. I do want you to change your exfoliant. Okay. The skin, the Urban RX, mm -hmm. um, it's too drying. Okay. Um, I do like this Dermalogica, like, it's like a powder. The, I know what you're talking about. I definitely like that Dermalogica, like, um, powder daily exfoliant. It's a supposedly daily exfoliant. I don't use it every day. Mm -hmm. But it makes your skin really smooth. Like, you see all these little bumps here? Mm -hmm. They'll be gone. Okay. So, Dermalogica is just definitely one of my favorite exfoliants. Mm hmm um, because I use a chemical exfoliant, um, like this one, like this exfoliant or like anything that's like an enzyme mask mm -hmm. that helps get rid of that first layer of that skin. Okay. Sunscreen. I love this as a moisturizer as well, especially in the summer because it's not too heavy, mm -hmm. but it'll get the job done. And it doesn't leave a white cast either. Gives you this really nice shine. Okay. Okay. 
that facial was so good i can't believe i went two years without a facial like that's kind of insane and it was crazy two weeks after that i was invited to a skincare company's headquarters and i got another facial there my skin has been loving the extra tlc and yeah, you guys that is my high maintenance routine to stay low maintenance these are the beauty procedures that i just swear by that i love that i feel like make a big difference that are so convenient in my day-to-day -day life that i think you guys should try to implement in your life if you can you can definitely do a lot of these things yourself probably not the microbladed brows but hair nails you can do some press-ons and stuff like that press-ons that be last and then they look dumb good you know what i'm saying so you can do a lot of these things yourself you do not have to spend an obscene amount of money on your maintenance routine at all i just need to share what i do and i think a lot of people will find this video informative especially if you're in the new york area and yeah you guys that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed i love you Julian, so much and i will see you guys in my next one bye